Hello, all of my lovely subscribers, all 3,500 of you. I cannot believe that in one month, you guys. You guys are literally the best. Um, thank you so much for all of your support. Happy February. If you're new to the channel, this is not a typical read for me. This is a special read that I'm going to be doing because it is February and I am the Southern Strega. And by Southern, I mean I live in Atlanta, Georgia, which is the epicenter of the Civil War as well as the Civil Rights Movement. And here in America on February 1st starts Black History Month. So with that being said, I am going to um, pay homage and honor and respect to Black History today. And I'm going to be pulling some um, cards from a Root Worker deck that I am going to put a link in the description box that I suggest that you pick up if you are into tarot and um, connect to this type of energy. It's the Hoodoo Tarot, if you can see it right here. It comes with this amazing guidebook, guys, and I never read from guidebooks. I'm an intuitive reader. I just interpret from pictures, but this is the only deck that I am going to read from the guidebook because they have done an amazing job um, making this almost like a historical read. A lot of the people on these cards are actual people who lived and have a story and are, are known. I mean, you can Wikipedia some of these people. Like, It's going to be a history lesson as well as a tarot reading today. Um... I am not a root worker. I do not claim to be. I am a channeler. I channel energy and you can feel the energy um, around this type of mysticism very hard down here in Atlanta. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of suffering. There was also a lot of, you know, coming together as a community and rising from ashes and just a lot of powerful energy down here in the South. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with hoodoo, it's basically what happened as a byproduct of the transatlantic um, slave ordeal. Um, when Africans were removed from their home, forcibly removed and sold into slavery, they started coming into contact with Europeans and indigenous people in the new colonies in North America. Hoodoo is what happens when all of those different religions kind of sort of mix together. Um, you have probably practiced hoodoo and you don't even know it. If y'all were eating collard greens and cornbread and pork on New Year's Day, then you were engaging in hoodoo. <laughs> all of that originally originated with the slaves and on plantations. And it was all a means of um, their religion, their mysticism, things like that. So to pay respect to that and to, you know, give a nod to that and to educate you guys a little bit on my channel this month, I am going to be using this deck. I'm doing a little different read today. Um, this deck is separated into three separate groups right here. We have the elders. These are all your major arcana card. This is judgment right here. It's called Dem Bones. Like there's different names for everything, guys. And there's, um, it's just a beautiful deck and I can't wait to share it with you. Anyways, I'm gonna pull you some advice from the ancestors. This is like the highest wisdom that you're needing to pay attention to, these major arcana. That's gonna be what's most important going on in your reading. The court cards in this deck, you know, the kings, the queens, the knights, the pages, that's called the family in this deck. So I'm going to pull from the family as well and see what kind of advice um, we can get from them. And then the rest of the cards, the minor arcana, excluding the court cards, are all um, considered the community. So basically, the hierarchy is you should care the most what the elders think, and then your family, and then what everyone else thinks. So they're all important messages, and they're all things that need to be heard, but th there is a hierarchy to them. So I'm going to pull from all three sets of these cards, and I am going to give you the history behind everything, okay? So that is that. If you guys have any questions about any of this or would like to discuss this, I will throw up a post on my community page where we can discuss hoodoo and practices and things like that if you are into talking about stuff like that. Uh, if not, here comes your read for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Hey there, my lovely Leos. Sorry for such the long intro. Um, when I recorded that intro like four days ago when I started putting these readings up for earth and uh, water signs, um, I only had 3,500 subscribers and now I have over 5,000. So thank you guys so much. Um, apparently you guys have been liking these ancestor readings. So I'm going to keep them in the rotation monthly, not just for black history month. Let me start by pulling your ancestor cards for you. That one wanted to come out. Let's see. We have the free man. This is the full card. That came out in another reading. I can't remember who it was. 
We have Big Mama. This is the sun. And we have John Horse. I want to say that's the emperor. I do believe it is. All right, let me go ahead and um, pull your card for how your family is viewing you right now, how your ancestors are viewing you right now, using the family cards. What energy do they see you sitting in? Or how are you being perceived right now by your ancestors? That one flipped over. Daughter of Knives. This is Page of Swords energy. Alrighty, and then last but not least, we will pull the community cards to see what is supporting this reading, influencing your reading. Can I get three cards, please, for Leo? With this sun and the emperor and the free man here, I feel like you're um you're breaking out of something, or you're being seen breaking your you know, you're fighting your way out of something. Five of sticks energy. Um you're Walking towards your happiness. Um, I see you bossing up. Yeah, you're walking, choosing a new path here. Three of Wands energy. And you're going towards your wish fulfillment. I just said that, y'all. I cannot make this stuff up. Nine of Baskets. This is Nine of Cups energy. This is about, you know, fulfilling your wishes and filling up your own baskets and things like that. I do get a big energy here of a massive um, shift going on in your life. Like a permanent type one that's going to lead to... Um, Lots of change, like getting you in an energy of being more happy, I see. So let me go ahead and um, sip this tea real fast. And then I'm going to tell you about these um, major arcana cards right here. The first one you pulled was, you started off pulling the free man, which is the fool card. Um, there's a Bible verse attached to this one, and I do want to read it. It says, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. If you can see the image right here, there's a man walking away from a grave. This grave was um, the grave of Joshua John Ward. He's from South Carolina. He was one of the largest slaveholders. He was de um, deemed the king of the rice planters. And this guy's walking away from his grave with a jar full of dirt, all right? Dirt is used in spell work and hoodoo, especially, especially grave dirt, um, there's a mystery as to why this guy's there. Does he know this person? You know, you could be prosecuted for witchcraft back in the day for doing things like that. Um, you could go to jail. So this person's like acting foolish, like just walking in like he owns the place and, you know, taking this grave dirt to go do what he wants. But um, I don't get the, the full energy in the traditional rider weight is like taking a leap of faith and, you know, you know just looking before you leap and going on a new journey. I don't get that same energy with this fool. This fool is somebody who has set himself free of all notions of what will hold them back. Okay. Um, like the audacity of this person to just walk up here and steal this, you know, jar full of dirt to go do whatever spell work they're about to do is crazy. People would think it's foolish, but it's not foolish to this person because they know their intent. Um, I feel like a lot of people are looking at y'all like you are foolish for a decision that you're making right now. But um, he's getting this jar full of dirt to go manifest something that he wants. And I do see y'all doing that. Like whatever you've done recently that people might be judging you for, your ancestors see that it was not a foolish move. It was well thought out. Okay, it was. And it's all meant to bring you toward this energy of like stability and happiness. This is the sun card. This is like the ultimate card of happiness in the entire tarot. In this deck, it's meant to represent like the grandmother of the family, like the, the matriarch of the family. Big mama, um, you know, like grandmothers hold down Southern families. Grandmothers have held down families for centuries. Uh, it's a warm energy. It's like you can always talk to your grandmama about something. You know what I mean? Like they see you walking away towards your happiness and they don't see it as a foolish move because you've got the fool and then you got the emperor on one side. They see you being judged. Like a lot of people are thinking what you did was foolish or stupid. Like if you just walked away from a job or a relationship or something like that, some people are questioning your decision. I'm seeing that you made the decision from a very grounded place with that emperor energy. Um, I do. And with the daughter of knives here, this is page of swords energy. Um, the page of swords is all about communication. I mean, pages bring messengers, but in this deck, I get a different energy. Y'all, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the art. It shows the daughter of knives here. She's a spiritualist who has made contact with a plethora of spirits via her talking board. It's like an Ouija board, basically. She's talented at what she does, so the messages come so fast that it's almost overwhelming. I feel like you guys just got a big download or a wake-up call or something about something you were doing in your life that just wasn't sitting right. 
and you knew that it needed to change. Um, I think I feel like it's an energy or a situation that you've been in for a long time. And it's kind of like the light bulb just got switched on. Like, I feel like you've been getting messages from your ancestors. You've been seeing signs. You've been seeing repeated numbers. You've been seeing um, certain animals, things, just things that are like tipping off your spider sense that you need to make a move on this situation. You've been downloading information big time, especially in the, you know, your dreams possibly I'm seeing. Um, I do see people talking about your move here. Do you see? There's a group full of people in the background here talking trash about this girl right here who's you know on her own doing her own thing. I feel like a lot of people are judging your situation right now. I do see you making a move towards something or moving or thinking about doing it. If you are thinking about making this move and you're feeling like you're crazy, I feel like I'm being guided to tell you that you are not crazy. This is a well thought out thing. If it feels right, if your intuition is telling you what it is, I do see it leading to ultimate like success and fulfillment here. You see all these baskets, they're full of money, they're full of food, they're full of, you know, butter and things that, you know, you need for nourishment and sustainability. And you've got that coupled with the sun card. That's like double confirmation that whatever this big move you're planning on making or you just made is going to pan out well for you. Um, the ancestors definitely are wanting me to tell you, don't let people think you're crazy. That's the biggest message that I'm getting from this. Like, do not let other people talk you out of this. If you've made up this decision in your mind, if you feel like it's what's right for you, I'm, I'm being told to, to do not let people talk you out of this. I feel like a lot of people will want to talk you out of this because it seems crazy, but it's not. It's a boss move. It's a boss move with this emperor card. People are looking at you like you're a fool, all right, because this is laying on the past side. They're looking at you like you're foolish for doing all this stuff. But in the center of it all, it's leading to, you know, you've got this in the center of the reading guiding everything, the sun card. This is ultimate happiness and, you know, happily ever after and then for your final card for like the future outcome it's the nine of you know cups this this is this is ultimate wish fulfillment this is everything you've ever wanted like coming to fruition and then the next thing after that is like the stable home happy family everything but on an individual level this is you leveling up to be able to receive that 10th cup and i do feel like this is a passion project for you i'm getting that too it's like some passion project that you've been wanting to do that seems crazy to everybody else it's like kind of like some shit I'm doing right now. Like I'm a licensed attorney and I'm quitting my shit to read tarot cards. That does not seem normal, but it's working out, you know, and it's making me happier. <laughs> so whatever y'all are thinking about doing, do not think that it's crazy. I'm seeing right here that it's a well thought out plan. You've been wanting to do it for a long time. You've been getting confirmation from spirit that it's what you're supposed to do. It's a higher calling for you. And I do see you taking the steps towards it. And a lot of people having problems with it. But they're going to have even more problems with it because it's going to work out, you know, in your favor. Blessed and highly favored, I'm getting from this reading. All right, Leos, I love that. And I love that for me, too. My whole entire house has Leo placements, y'all. I love you guys so much, for real. I'm a Cancer Leo cusper. My little baby is a Leo moon and my oldest son is a Leo rising. So we have a pack of lions over here. So I love y'all extra. Um, I'll talk to y'all next time, Leo. Thank you.